What's up, everybody? I am Alicia Renee. And I'm Dax Holt. Welcome to Pod Sauce, your podcast discovery show. But welcome also to Florida. <laughs> If it looks a little different, it's because we are not in our normal home. We are down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida for the Odyssey Beach Festival. We're in our vacation home. <laughs> this is where we vacation. This is where we vacation. It's nice. It's it, comfy it in here. It feels good. It and feels the, good. There are some huge bands going on. Yeah. Uh, I cannot wait to get out there, check it out. But for now, let's do our jobs. You've got like one foot in this chair. Dax is already <laughs> on the beach. He's got his ticket. Look at my shirt. I am I'm literally ready to get out there. Let me get you out there. All right. Dax, you have an odd pod. Pick of the week? No, I got I got an odd one for you this Do week. Ya. So my odd pod pick of the week this week is called Can I Pet Your Dog? Hmm? This is for extreme dog lovers. Okay. Like extreme dog lovers. It is hosted by two women mm -hmm. who are mommies to dogs Aww. and one's got a puppy, but they take their love for a dog to a whole new level. They're talking uh, about what they've taught their dogs this week, what their dogs have learned. Oh, People gosh. call in to talk about their dogs. So I was listening to it and I'm like, it's hard for me to relate because I have children, mm -hmm. like human children. <laughs> <laughs> but they are obsessed with their furry little babies Aww. and they they love them and, and there's all there's a community of dog lovers that are calling in to talk about their dogs their ages <laughs> what they're like I mean they talk about their interactions with meeting dogs on the street mm -hmm. during the week it's it's wild so it's dogs dogs only no cats all, cat lovers not no, welcome all dogs it's so funny because I love dogs and I I feel like and I probably should call in and have this conversation with them, but I feel like dogs have like human spirits. Like in the past, you know what I mean? Like the spirit that's in them was a human. Mm -hmm. No, they, they get into that kind of stuff. Like oh, they, they talk do. about even news stories yeah. relating dogs and how dogs are super intelligent and how quickly they learn to fetch or how quickly, like if you point and say, go over there and get your ball, like they understand that. And that's unlike any other animals in the animal kingdom, except yeah. like so, some primates and stuff. Like it's they are dog lovers. Yeah. So if you love dogs, you will like, can I pet your dog? I have to listen to this podcast mainly because I, I, I love dogs. I'm, I don't have a dog yet. Um, he's coming. His name is Eddie. After the dog on <laughs> Frasier, you know, so he is coming um, in the poodle family because allergies. Um, but one of my close, close girlfriends, she has a dog, and I swear this dog was human in a former life. And she talks to him as such. So this mm -hmm. podcast probably will be right up her alley. And she'll be like, Bozeman, you know we don't go over there. And he'll look at her like, hmm. <laughs> and he'll just like slowly back up. So it's like, I, yes, I, and. I, you know, listen to I, each of their own. I, again, I go. We were like this with our dogs uh -huh. before our children came around. So I can understand how people yeah. are so wild about their dogs. But I have children now, so this I didn't relate as much as maybe I would have in the past. The only thing that blows me is when I'm hiking in uh, L.A. in one of the canyons or whatever, and I see people having their dog and a baby Bjorn. No. no, get your dog out of strollers, out of Baby Bjorn's. No, dogs have legs for a reason, people. Doesn't need to be at a high chair at a restaurant. See that a lot in L.A. You know, mm. I don't know what that's about. But if those things are covered on your podcast, I mean, on, on this, on this pod, on your Odd Pod Pick of the Week, I can see why it's an Odd Pod Pick of the Week. So. It was odd. So that is my Odd Pod Pick of the Week. Can I pet your dog? Check it out. Don't go anywhere, guys. If you're a dog lover. <laughs> no, if you're an obsessed dog lover. <laughs> don't go anywhere, guys. We have more. This is Pod Talks. Welcome back to Pod Sauce. It's that time of the day. Yes, and you're Alicia most welcome. You better be bringing the heat for get, your pick. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me now. Listen, I remember I've got quite a few points racked up You've so far. One. You legit have like uh, no two. Hundred and one. Two. So let's let's see what you bring in today. <clears throat> I'm actually really excited about my podcast. Now, lately, if you guys have taken notice, uh, my podcasts have like circled around mental health, finances, things that interest me, mm -hmm. right? I'm in these murky streets of the dating space. My God, these waters are dark and dreary. And there's a podcast that speaks to us single people out there, or just us dating people out there, called You Up. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? It's You Up? You Up? <laughs> and I died just at the title alone, as I am right now, about to tear up from crying, because who hasn't received that text message? And I know exactly, it's, it just set the perfect tone. Two comedians hosted, it's from Betches Media. Yeah. <laughs> 
just sets the atmosphere. But it covers everything, and you guys clearly love it. I'm behind the curve because it has over 12,000 comments alone. Oh, wow. 4.8 out of 5, you know, score. Some of the topics are friends with benefits. Do you get benefits with friends? And if you are, is it benefiting you? Because it's oh, not. Deep. And it doesn't. Do I really need stuff back from my ex? Yes, you do. Because I'm from Louisiana. We believe in voodoo. And I don't have time for you to put witchery all over my things. <laughs> what? Give me my things back. They do. Who's they putting witchery on your old clothes? They talk about Nobody these things. Nobody's putting witchery on your stuff. You would be surprised. <laughs> Okay, you would be surprised. <laughs> Dating apps, pros and cons, get off of them. You know, too many, it's, they did talk very briefly about that, but there was like this point in time, you've been out of this game for eternity, I so got, you know nothing about that. I would be that. such an, a failure at this point in my life. But they covered at one point how, you know, you would just keep hearing about people getting like, they would turn up missing on Tinder. You know what I mean? Like from these dates, so they, they go, they cover some of the heavy topics, but they do it with comedy. Mm -hmm. um, just to, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautifully funny podcast uh, about the do's and don'ts of dating, different levels of dating, different things that we've, you know, just encountered within dating, uh, like the pros and cons of online dating, what Tinder is about now, right? So back then, it was really dangerous and you kind of had to be careful, but it's pretty much understood. If you met somebody on Tinder, you're just there to DTF. Is that clear? Down to text? I said DTF, not, what are Down you? to find someone? Yeah, works for me. Down to find somebody. <laughs> works for me. Again, over 12,000 comments, 4.8 out of five. Get into it. You up? You up? That's my, right. that's my podcast good, pick of the week. Good pick. All right, Leash. <laughs> I, I'll give you a point. You should. But I, I, I don't personally need it, but I will give you a point because I feel like there's a lot of people that will greatly benefit you from the podcast. You've got single friends out there. I do. Do you? <laughs> <laughs>guys for having me this is so cool this that's amazing everything's super cool about we're this. in florida giving it the best that we got <laughs> well, not every day do we get to be backstage at the odyssey beach fest so mm -hmm. it's pretty cool for us right now yes We've got some big bands coming up but want to talk about your podcast obviously that's why you're here can you give us a brief description of what your podcast is about for y yes. anyone listen so miami mic'd up uh has only existed for a couple of months um but it's an interview style podcast where I've been speaking with players across South Florida and also different sports media personalities across South Florida. So I've chatted with different local news hosts, local sports hosts, local radio people, but also have had extended conversations with Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero and Jazz Chisholm Jr. with the Marlins and all of the Florida Panthers. So it's been an absolute blast. And yeah, it's just one-on-one -on -one conversations anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour just however long they'll give me uh, <laughs> that's actually the inter the podcast that i listened to the one with Jim, uh, jimmy butler we'll mm. get into the bones of that why do we always listen to the same we episodes have to start texting one another because this is ridiculous <laughs> at this point especially when it comes to like horror podcasts because uh -huh. neither one of us do demons around these oh, parts do I. Yeah. <laughs> so nine times out of ten we end up listening to the same epi but what I really love uh, about your podcast, outside of getting into the bones of the Jimmy Butler, because we'll do that, mm -hmm. do that later, um, is that you start your podcast off with such a beautiful question. Now you're taking my questions, it's too. Not my problem. I it got it written down. It I got it problem. written down. We're <laughs> the same person. <laughs> Figure it out, sir. But <laughs> you always ask them, outside of whatever it is that they do, if they're an athlete, you know, obviously their, their job is with sports or journalists or whatever. Right. What do you do outside of that thing that brings you joy? Mm -hmm. And I just thought that was such a beautiful way to, one, set the atmosphere of the interview, but also, two, just, it's such a, a disarming question, and I'm sure a question that uh, people, especially like Jim, the Jimmy Butlers of this world or, you know, the other high-profile athletes that you have on your podcast, don't get asked often. Right. Why, why, why that question? You know, it's, as I was preparing to do the show, and mm -hmm. we sort of came up with the idea of, like, okay, we're going to do a podcast, and I think think it's going to mostly be interviews uh, where we have these connections where 
I work for Valley Sports Florida, so we're partners with the Heat and the Panthers and the Marlins. Okay. And so I knew, hey, there's a chance we might actually get some of these athletes on the show. Like, this is something we might be able to do. And so I was trying to sit and think what can make the show a little different and what feels like me. Um, and you guys were just talking to Travis and, and he was talking about authenticity. And like, that's the big thing that I wanted to sort of bring to this is like, this is how I want to conduct an interview. Mm -hmm. These are the questions that I think are relevant. And so to kind of be able to start with just what's something outside of work, outside of, of the thing that we know you for mm -hmm. that brought you some joy, I think it's a way for the listeners to get to know these athletes better mm -hmm. and know who they are. And then, like you said, it is a bit of a disarming question. It wasn't, an, it wasn't intended to be that way, mm -hmm. but once I asked it the first time, I realized, uh, oh, they're gonna share a lot more with me once I ask this question because I've set up sort of a, a friendly environment. Um, and that's all I want the show to be. Like, I want, when people listen, I want it to feel like, like this, like I'm hanging out in a living room with these guys and just having conversations with them, not like I'm asking them these pressing questions about you know the drama of their league. Mm -hmm. It's just about a conversation for the most part to get to know them better and, and the things that they do, so. So Jeremy, off your podcast, what brings you joy? Oh man, <laughs> thanks, that's a wonderful question. Uh, well, this has been really cool so far, but I would say um, the last, the last month or so, or, or two months or so, have been really wonderful. I just got engaged. Oh, uh, yeah, so yeah. Thanks. Congrats. Yeah, it's been, oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, uh, yeah being with my fiance, living here in Florida, like, yeah. this is sort of all of my professional and personal dreams are coming true all at once, which is really wonderful. So I'm I'm feeling very, very lucky. So I days. need to move is what you're saying. Come <laughs> down. To... We got plenty of space. You can't do Florida, honey. <laughs> I, can... I, I understand. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You know, Dax and I are really big are on intentionality, right? Uh, so whenever we do podcasts, um, whenever we do pod sauce, excuse me, our intention behind the podcast is to get the listeners and the viewers uh, into the creatives behind that work, right? Because sure. ideally, I came from the hosted space, yeah. and, and you know, as an actor, yeah. if people are into you, then they'll be into whatever it is you're selling, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so I love the approach that you took. I did listen to the Jimmy Butler episode. I love the approach that you took when you were asking about like his coffee shop and why coffee. Mm -hmm. You know, um, do is that your thing too? Like you just want them to be into that person yeah. outside of yeah? Yeah, I mean. what we have so many avenues to hear about what athletes do on the court or on the field right. or, you know, and there are amazing podcasts just like Travis's that'll mm -hmm. break down the X's and O's of what's going on. And so their interviews will be very specific to the individual game. And, and I'll ask guys questions about what's going on right. in the season in a more general sense. It just um, comes so later in the epi, which I appreciate. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think it's, I want Miami Mic'd Up to be a space where it's, to learn something about the person, not just the player, if that makes mm -hmm. any sense. Mm -hmm. um, and and that goes for the same for the other guests as well. Like I, I, I feel so lucky I've gotten to learn the stories of some of the people that either are now like my friends in this industry or people that I've looked up to in this industry who started before me and now I've learned more about their path and it can help me. But I also think that, God, there's been a bunch of conversations that I've had with with local sports people where I'm like, if some 15 year old is listening to this right now, like they're getting good stuff about how to get into this and, and how, how to, to chase your dreams. And I think that a, a lot of that is very daunting, uh, especially as a kid, but I'm hoping to be able to provide avenues for people to learn about that uh, through those types of interviews and then to learn more about their favorite athletes and who they are you know, outside of what they watch on TV every day. Now, because we are a podcast discovery show, yes. is there any podcast that you are enjoying that you could recommend to some of our listeners and watchers? Yeah, 100%. Um, so my, the person that I like look up to in this industry is Dan Levitard. Um, he's a hugely popular, was radio host with ESPN. Now they're in their own podcast network. So anything from the Levitard and Friends network, they do the same thing that I try to do, which is they're a sports show and they don't really talk about sports. Like they use sports to start a conversation and then they'll end up on like which celebrity men have hair plugs. <laughs> like that's where they'll go, oh, right? Man. Yeah, so it's like that's, that's where it'll, it'll get there in five minutes. Yes. It'll start with dolphins, ravens, and it'll get there in five minutes, yeah. okay? So they're a blast. Um, and then another one of my favorites is a show called All Fantasy Everything. 
Um, and basically what they do is it's also similar. They take the premise of a fantasy draft, which mm -hmm. is like normally sports oriented, but they draft any random topic. Um, and so I don't know what they just did last week. Like, we but have the, do we have them on or they're talk great. About them? I forget. Yes. Oh, we yeah. Have them. We yes. have to have them on. Then. They are, yeah. They're, I'm like a gigantic fan of their work. I think they're great. Um, and it's one of my favorite shows. And they're, they're comedians. So they're not really yeah. doing anything in sports, although, you know, there will be references. <laughs> but it's, it's just they're comedians. They're yeah. having a good time. They're laughing. It's a means for them to have conversations. And, uh, and then the last one, Flagrant Magazine, which is located out west as well, they do a podcast. And it's, it's really wonderful. They do awesome work on basketball, NBA, WNBA, high school level. They're super cool. And again, viewing things through the prism of human beings. Like that's. Mm -hmm what they're all about as well. So, yeah, I love them. I'm sorry that I wasn't more of a laugh today. I feel like I wanted to laugh at you like, guys. I feel like and you I got real serious. I like you, you conjured up a chuckle or two, and I'm, <laughs> I can appreciate you for that. I tried, I'm Especially sorry. The hair, the hair plugs kind of got me on yeah, that one. Yeah, 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 it happens. No, I'm here for you, Jeremy. Really, uh, I wanted to say too, I thought it was such a beautiful way that you laid out uh, how you, uh, how Miami, Miami Mic'd Up came about. Because there's one thing, as a creative, because I also create, and I know you create as sure. well, uh, one thing, and this is just applicable tools for all of our listeners and viewers out there. Uh, Issa Rae did this interview one time and she was like, I think uh, oftentimes we think that we need to go out, or no, go up, right, to have our stuff out there. So as in find someone who's like super famous or, you know, be, um, what's the word, angular, mm. uh, whenever we enter into certain spaces to try to build relationships with people because we need them to do, versus going out and across. So like how you called a good friend of yours yep. to help you get this thing going. Uh, I think that that's, a, it was so good to hear you say that and to see where you are now. Because when people hear that and see that it works, you know, hopefully it'll encourage more creatives to step out on the ledge. So thank you. Thank you for saying works because I can't believe that this is happening at all and the fact that you guys even wanted me here. I got the email from Angie and I was like, I, you want me on a podcast about me? Like, you want to talk to me about me? I, what? So this is like the coolest. So thank you guys for, for endorsing. I appreciate it. Of course, of course. And if anyone wants to check out Miami Mac'd Up, head on over to podsauce.com. We'll have a link up there. We're going to put up the Jimmy Butler episode. Yes, because yeah. we both listened to it, and one. it's great. And you can watch it also, just so you guys know. There it's are okay. there are means. You know, there, you can. You oh, can watch you it. Oh, you can. Yeah, no, like, there are means. Okay. There are means to watch it. No, yeah, you okay. can't. No, it's okay. It's just Do a podcast. Do not watch it. No, only it's a, listen. It has video. It has oh, video. No, okay. you go, if you go on my Twitter, you can find all the video of our most recent ones, but there's also uh, a ballysports.com on the Valley Sports app. What's your Twitter? Uh, my Twitter is at Jeremy Taché. I know that's right. Didn't he look right down the lens yeah. of the yeah, I'm right not down. mad at you. Guys <laughs> uh. so, thank you so much. Guys, don't go anywhere. We have more coming up. This is Pop Talk. Welcome back to Pod Sauce. It's coming to an end. That's We're what they say here. when you're having fun. It just speeds right on by. Thank speeds you. on by while you're at the Odyssey Beach Fest. Thank you again, Odyssey, for having us down yes, here. Thank you so much. Uh, but you got you got a little murder most foul for us, don't I you? I do have a murder most foul. A true crime podcast <laughs> just for you guys. Here we go. <clears throat> this one is called Over My Dead Body, Fox Lake Edition. This is season three. I'm going to figure out how to creatively break down this podcast because one you do have to listen to it in sequential order you can't like skip around or whatever uh long story short so there's this guy he was in the military he then turned into a policeman uh comes he did he's in the swamp somewhere oh. <laughs> well that escalated he, quickly he did <laughs> The townspeople thought he was just such a phenomenal guy, but as you listen to the podcast, there's like, you know, women that were treated badly and drugs, a little cartel moment, a man floating in the swamp. So mm. you have to really listen to No, it's so no, good. No, I'm actually super interested. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> you got me. It's so good. You know, uh, one of the things that kind of like looped me into it was they prefaced this, uh, the whole podcast just wrapped around the unrest that uh, was experienced within our country and 2020, 2021, um, after George Floyd uh, and, and the evolution of the Black Lives Matter movement and then the subsequent Blue Lives Matter movement to uh, essentially offset that. And I wanted to listen to it as a woman of color just to hear context, how they brought that all together, mm -hmm. right? And so you think the person is one way, it ends up being another way. I was, I was, hmm, 
I wasn't mad at how they intertwined. Okay. The wording could have been better. Hmm. But they figured it out. <laughs> they figured it out. So over, <laughs> over my dead body, Fox Lake is my murder most foul true crime podcast. Pick. Uh, I like it. Well, if you want to check out Over My Dead Body. Over My Dead Body. Head on over to podsauce.com. We'll have a link there directly to that podcast as well. Make sure you sign up for the newsletter. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're also all over social media. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, yes, Twitter. It's all at the Pod Sauce. And huge shout out to Odyssey for having us down here in Fort Lauderdale for the Odyssey Beach Fest. So when Dax is a little brown. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen. A little I'm going to be wearing a lot of sunscreen. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, uh, it's really cool to be a part it of is. something so Feels big. So thank, thank you guys. guys. And you can yeah. follow us. You can follow me at Dax Holt. And you can follow me. And I am Alicia Renee. And until next time, thank you all so much for joining us. Be good to yourselves. Peace. <laughs>